old chaps there, the old DBC forum. Right, I just like to pass on some of the information, you know, that's uh, helped me learn how to pick a lock, and uh, in this case, how to decode a lock. Now, once you grasp this decoding business, it makes life a lot easier, don't it? When we come picking. Anyway, here we go. Here we got Union BS. Okay. Now, a friend of mine gave me a lot about, I don't know, nine or ten of these old motors locks. He's dug out doors and whatnot. And uh, <clears throat> so I've ID'd this one down to a Union BS. <sighs> right. Now, what I've done here... I've stuck a lever on the outside there, you see. Mind you, this ain't for you all experienced boys out there, is it? It's for those who are just starting to pick levers and, you know, and, and trying to work things out. Anyway, here we go. So I've stuck a lever on the case in there, right? And that little black mark represents the stump, okay? Now, this is a particularly easy lock. To decode, I'll tell you for why. Lever one is a high lift lever, and I know lever two, three, and four, and five are low lifts. Right now, whole Windsor he sent me through some paperwork, you know, via post and whatnot, and um, and uh, how to decode a lock. Very confusing when I first read it, you know. Anyway, I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Right, so. Let's determine which is the high and low, low levers here. Right, here we go. So, if I go through the lock, he says just give a little nudge on each each lever. Now, I'm only a little nudge here. I don't know, three or four mil, I suppose. You see that? Like that. Just going through the lock. Now, what he says is, because you're only nudging, say, three or four mil at a time, okay? Now, now that bugger's open, and I didn't want it to. Not yet, anyway. Bugger. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, because you're only, there is, the levers are in there, by the way. You know, don't think there's a setup. That's lot, right? Right. Now, if I nudge three or four mil, for example, now let's say... I nudge three or four mil on this here lever, the ant picks on the top. See it there, can't you? Right there, see? Now, if I nudge three or four mil, it's going to drop into the ant pick. So that tells me that I need to nudge that five or six. I need to avoid the ant pick, so that's going to be a high lift lever, yeah? It's got to go higher to slip into the, the old gate there, right? Now, with the Low lift levers, yep, yeah, the anti picks at the bottom are okay at the top, bottom. So I've only got to nudge them a little bit, yep, to slip into the old true gate. So that's what I did there. So I'll go through again, five, yep, yeah, four, three. Now, what I'm trying to do, right, just a little nudge as we go along, there we go, yep. Yeah. That bugger's opened again, would you believe it? Let's do that again. I don't want to show you how, e how easy it is to open the lock. Bugger. Let's get into number one first. See if we get that nanny pick. Now just nudge that a little bit, see. There. There we go. That's solid. Number one lever. See? You can't hear anything. You can't feel anything. It's solid. Okay? It's caught in there. That pick notch. Okay? I only lifted that three or four mil, hence why it's caught in there. Now, as he says, that's how you decode a lock. Because you know you've got to lift at least five or six mil to avoid the anti pick. So if we do that again, little nudge on the five, the four, the three. You hear the click? That's, let's just test it now. Five. True gate. Four. True gate. Okay, I'm going to leave one to last, because that's what I want to do, you see. Oop, leave one alone, Bill. Let's get two. Right, I'm going to jump now. I'm going to jump the five. Perhaps, 
I don't know, six or seven mil to avoid this anti pick on that number one. Let's see. See, I didn't do it, did I? Drop them to anti pick. Because I nudged it before I should, you see. Right, here we go again, right. Straight through, a little nudge, there we go. You can hear the, the low lifts dropping into true K, right? He's done it again, you see. Not concentrating, yapping to you. I nudged up number one lever, fell into the anti pick. Stupid bugger, eh? Oh, come on, concentrate, look, that's it. Right. One. He's done it again. Drop and down your pick. He ain't behaving now, is it? Let's, let's do this. Concentrate now. There we go. Leave number one alone, Bill. Leave number one alone. That's it. Two, three. Come on. High lift that one. See that? I lift that bugger up high. Get out of the way. There we go. Then I nudge number two. Low lift lever. In we go. One more time before you fall asleep. In. One, you got to get attention, right? Or was you in all sorts of bloody trouble? Right. Five. Click, click, click. That's in, yeah. That's in, that's in. Right, let's nudge. Let's just get number one high to avoid the old anti pick. Up he goes, nudge two, and I should be all right. There we go. There we go. There. How's that? Hey, Took me a while to work out the decoding of a lock by going through it and determining which is the high and the low lifts, you see? But, once you can do it, that's fantastic. Now that's an easy lock. Excuse me. Because number one's a high lift and the rest are low lifts. That's easy, understand that. I've got another one up there on the shelf. Another sash lock, Yale BS. Now, that's a bit trickier. I ain't work. I can I, I can decode it, but not as quick as I can open this bugger. I can decode it because I know it's one high, two low, three high, four low, five high. Up down, up down, up down. Okay. Trouble is, I do it a bit late at night. You know, when I've had a few drinks and. Uh, Keep messing the bloody thing. Anyway, there you go. Hope it helps somebody out there. Your turn, Shawaddy Woody. Where were you yesterday? See you, lads.